Okay, now this is filming. So guys, I've got today on the mail something I was waiting for. Um, I bought this perfume on eBay uh, from someone that was like selling all the, some of their clothes and just random stuff. And um, she was selling the Versace Blonde perfume. Um, so I just got the box and when I opened it, the first thing I saw from the mailbox, of course, was this. I mean, this pattern from Versace, I really, really love so much. The Medusa is like right there and it's like old vintage pattern of Versace. And then when I turn it... I got the name, the Versace, famous Versace blonde perfume. Um, if you want to see more, here's the the code. And here it says Versace Profumi, made in Italy. It's um, 100 ml, and here's all the information down below, um, right here. So now I'm gonna open the perfume. I am really, really like afraid. Like I don't want to open this. I feel this is like, um, like vintage and like this perfume was um, discontinued. So it's really hard to find. I actually I felt it was like very lucky for me to find this. So what's the point also on buying stuff if you're not gonna use it? So I am planning on using like very little of this perfume and try to make it last as long as possible. So I have my scissors here and I'm going to just proceed to open this, which makes me kind of sad, but I mean, really, you should use all of your things, you know? Okay. So yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting expecting from this perfume to open this here. I'm, I haven't even opened the box and I can feel the scent right in here. The tube rose scent, which is crazy. And that's what I love about vintage and 80s and 90s, 80s perfumes, um, that they are very strong it's like a statement they say hi i'm here like turn around and look at me or just i am here but perfumes now that's why i really don't find very attractive the perfumes right now um it's because they are all like sweet they are, they all smell like candy marshmallow um I don't know, just sweet stuff that has like no personality. It doesn't say anything. It's not a statement. So um, unless you throw some incense in the marshmallow, I am not liking the perfume <laughs> at all. So when you open the box, you have a blue color from Versace and then you get a red color here. All right, okay, so, wow. Okay, guys, here it is, the infamous Versace Blonde. Ta-da! <laughs> and look at this bottle. I mean, it's crazy beautiful. I actually, I'm looking at it from behind, and you can see it looks like a 3D uh, Medusa right there. So yeah, I um this perfume my mom had it. And um this perfume it's actually like so much like my my childhood because I remember she had it on her perfume collection, whatever, and I always remember looking at this Medusa because it's like I can't explain it, but because it's going inside and then when you turn it it's like right there. I got a 3D shape, it just reminds me so much of my childhood and my mom. And look at the pattern here. Like, what can be much more elegant than that pattern right there? Also, look 
at this. It's, it looks like a diamond up in there. So yeah, this is a very beautiful bottle and that detail also. So, mmm, I love it. <laughs> this is crazy. The perfume is so good. Wow. So yeah, I can actually like only smell the, the, the cap of this and I can feel the, the scent. And so I've sprayed it right now. You can see here on my wrist, it's the perfume. And uh, yeah, I will have to wait until it changes. But like the first sniff I can smell from this, and uh, it is actually a very friendly smell. Because usually with this type of perfume, because they are from the 80s or 70s, they tend to be very, very strong in the beginning. And you might feel like scared, like, wait a second, I am not getting this perfume because it smells funky and whatever. And then an hour later, you feel this very nice scent on you and you're like, what did, why do I smell so good? And it's the exact same scent you're wearing. You were wearing an hour ago. It happens to me always with Paloma Picasso, um, with Cacharel perfumes, uh, with Guerlain, with Shalimar, which I adore. Like Shalimar, the base notes are amazing. I mean, they are unbelievable, but the first notes are like, it smells like a man's perfume and even worse on me. It's like, you can't really stand it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to give it some, like, a while to settle down. And, yeah, this is what's the unboxing of this very vintage perfume called Blonde by Versace.